Fifty percent of the American farmers have not earned a single dollar of profit in the last twelve years, fifty percent. In India in the last twenty years, three hundred thousand farmers have committed suicide. By twenty thirty-two, it is expected there will be a migration of 1.2 billion people from across the world to urban centers. Food must always grow where people are, it's very, very important, not somewhere else. <laughs> the media will only report the number of deaths on the way. Nobody can report the suffering that people go through, the humiliations that they go through. We have a foundation for girls' education in four different African countries. We work in Eastern Africa, in Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and in the West, in Ghana. Um, we enable girls and young women to be able to access education and healthcare. Um, as you can imagine, we're always in the rural areas, by the way. As you can imagine, agriculture plays a huge part. When we ask the girls how many of your parents is farmers, they all raise their hand. When I ask them how many of you would like to become farmers, they all take their hands down. They would all like to become lawyers, doctors, which is incredible. But my question to you is how can we make it no, more it's not appealing? Very incredible because uh, if uh, you're a lawyer and I'm a doctor, for you, somebody should be in trouble. For me, somebody should be sick. That's true, you would think being a farmer Farmers farmer is... means incredible, that means somebody's eating good food. Exactly, and you get to be outside. This is what I'm trying to get at. Basically, my question is how can we make it more appealing because these young girls yes. have only seen their poor parents that have not been able to provide properly or create a business out of this incredible soil that I thought Africa has very um, nutrient-full mm -hmm. soil but yet they live from the hand to their mouth and they don't want to become farmers, but we need them to become farmers, correct? See, this problem is not just in Africa, it's across the board, everywhere in the world. For example, in India, over sixty percent of Indian population are farmers right now. But we have not asked the children because we may get… we may draw zero. So we have asked the farmers, how many of you want your children to be farmers, not even two percent. So, this… this magic of converting mud into food is not a small thing. If there are highly educated people here, if you're an MBA or even if you're an MSc in agriculture, I will give you ten acres of land and ask you to grow five different varieties of crops for me. Please, don't torture the child, huh? So, uh, if you ask them to grow five different varieties of crops, believe me, highly educated people cannot do that because we're taking agriculture for granted because people are functioning out of intrinsic knowledge which they have gathered from hundreds of generations. So if this generation goes away in another twenty years or twenty-five years, who is going to perform this magic of mud to food? Once you lose that capability or that knowledge of doing this, well, the world will pay a very severe price and this is not in one place in Africa, this is across the world, across the world. Why is this so? Why this is so is, see, for example, in United States, I'm taking United States as an example because one thing is it's a most affluent nation, another thing is a whole lot of things are better documented there than anywhere else. Fifty percent of the American farmers have not earned a single dollar of profit in the last twelve years, fifty percent. And the highest suicide rates among any professions in America is among the farmers, whole families shooting themselves. Because for years on end, if you don't make a dollar, how do you survive? Loans will grow, input costs will grow, then you have no way to survive. The only way is to lose the land. 
So this is happening in India also, I'm sure it's happening everywhere else. In India in the last twenty years, three hundred thousand farmers have committed suicide. Everybody says, oh, it's because of the bank loan, it's because happened because of this, because of that. I'm asking you, any one of you or all of you, if you were a farmer, you were on the land, whatever loans you have, whatever troubles you have, if not for commercial purpose, even if you could grow food for your own family, would you kill yourself? Hello? Definitely not, isn't it? With Africa, the problem is migration. In the... by 2032, it is expected, there will be a migration of 1.2 billion people from across the world to urban centers. In India alone, 220 million people will migrate. Why are people migrating? If there was food on the land, why would they go somewhere? When people migrate in unplanned ways, because the countries that you mentioned, this is a massive problem in southern Europe, where when people drag their wives and children and try to go to another land where they don't know the language, they don't know how to live, how to survive, nothing, simply they're coming. What happens to children and women in this whole journey is most horrendous. And how they get exploited when they come to this new place is unspeakable. Terrible things are happening. Everybody keeps their mouth shut because these people have no identities, they have no ID card, nobody knows who they are, whether they live or die, there is no account of any kind. So this is happening, if you want to prevent this, if we want to stem migration, people who consciously migrate to some other place, it's their choice. But people who are forced to migrate because there is no food to eat in the place they are, that's not a fair thing. Food must always grow where people are, it's very, very important, not somewhere else. <clears throat> So this migration itself can be a massive disaster in the next eight to ten years. 1.2 billion people moving. We will only... the media will only report the number of deaths on the way. Nobody can report the suffering that people go through, the humiliations that they go through, the debasement that happens to women and children. These things can never be recorded by anybody. Only deaths will be counted, that also we don't know.